Hey, girly pearlies. Yeah, you really want to get in. It's very frozen ground. A lot of this ground didn't thaw at all last night. So I've got to refill their hay rack and do the water. Lizzie Borden, the water tank. Okay. And I'll open. 
It's cold and frosty. Who needs a gym? <laughs> There's my aerobic exercise to get that empty hay rack full of hay for all the girls. Hey you, how are you? Now, I'm gonna go and Lizzie Borden, the uh, water tank. The sun is trying to come through the misty freezing mist. Doesn't the orchard look gorgeous in its misty, frosty, frozen morning? And the sun making the sky pale peach as it tries to burn through the freezing mist. Okay, let's see how this is. Ah, clever sheep. See, they've made a hole. I'll just... See, there's no new water coming in. There's no new water coming in, so the level's going down. So it makes it easier to break the ice, which is great. Okay. Oh, it is so beautiful. It might be cold and misty, but it's dry. We always like it when it's cold, crisp, and dry. And all these girls are gonna be very happy to have their hay stock refilled. Isn't that right, Pop? Okay, one, two, three. There's Inca over there. Bear doesn't come up sometimes. He doesn't like sheep very much, poor bear. I'm holding my feet in the air. Are you gonna come up or down? Come on, get up. There we go. <laughs> I've come in for a minute to warm up and my lap wants to be filled with holes. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually lit the fire and got it going. Yeah, yeah. It's freezy outside. There's no room up here for you. I'm sorry, there's just no room. It's a full lap. Okay, I've got to go outside again. We have to go outside again. We have to give water to the hens in their hen houses so that it doesn't freeze. Can you get down? There we go. Oh, dogs. Oh! They all know I'm getting ready to go out again. <laughs> okay. Out we're going. The raven is still calling. You hear that er, er, croak? That's the raven. So I'm up here with some of the dogs. This is the oak tree that I grew from seed and planted in August of last year for my grandniece. And I've made, oh, I can't find them now. 
Oh, there they are. I have made, um, I got a Christmas present of a stamp and these little metal tags. So see, there's her name. It's an oak tree planted in uh, August, 2023. It's not very clear. Well, it's clear enough. And so I'm going to attach it to the tree and see it has this thin little wire that I can uh, attach it. Now it'll take two hands. So I've got to stop so filming. Here we go. Zoe's tree has been labeled and the tags loosely hung on this branch. And over time, um, when it gets a trunk in about 15, 20 years, uh, if this tag is still here and hasn't been blown away by the wind, maybe we can place it on the trunk or on a stronger branch. But there we go. I've got to go tag other trees that I made uh, during the cold yesterday. So this was my Christmas present from my sister. And basically uh, it's these tin or aluminum plates and you put in the um, information about the tree or plant or whatever. Uh, this is a black birch and this is for a man called Alex. But I'm also going to add in this bit of information. I forgot to do it when I was already doing this. So I'm going to have to fit it in along the bottom edge here. So I wasn't very clever in organizing myself. But it's all a learning curve. So, um, yeah. So all you do is you take the letter out. Let's see, the first one is B. And there's the B. And you put it there. And then I'll hammer it. Now, that's going to take two hands. So I'll show you the result after I've done it. Because I can't film and do it at the same time. But this tag is going to be a little bit squished because I didn't space out. I didn't think about it. Silly me. So I've done my best. A bit of a mess. Um, a black birch planted in 2023. Uh, it's called Alex for a person, a man called Alex. It's called a royal frost and it's a betula pendula. So there we go, the Latin, the common name, and the simple name of black birch. So I'll go and hang that out on um, a tree like I did the one for my niece. So it's kind of fun, but I've got to definitely get more organized. Uh, some of the more simple ones are like this one. This is a beech tree uh, that was planted in 2022 for someone called Mary. And she um, uh, donated me uh, money to plant a tree. Uh, and um, that's, her tree is finally labeled because I finally have this wonderful um, labeling uh, stuff, which is perfect because then it doesn't disappear. This is somebody else. She has a crab apple, a red sentinel, and it's iris, and it was planted in 2010. See, I'm remembering the people whose trees they are. This is, who's this one for? Oops, upside down. This is an oak tree for another of my nieces. Uh, this was one I planted as an acorn, so I don't know what kind it is. Uh, and it's for Clementine, and it was planted in 2021. And then this is uh, a beech tree for Mark, planted in 2022. Again, this is somebody who um, uh, gave me money to plant a tree. And then this one is Marge, another beech tree that was planted in 2022. And this is someone who gave me uh, money to plant a tree. And people do this on my website. This is just, this. I think this is one of my first ones where I was learning how to do it. So it was a little bit violent in my hammering and it almost went all the way through. So it's a learning process. I'll just hang this on a silver birch 
I'll find out which silver birch it is and put the Latin underneath. Anyway, this is keeping me busy in the uh, cool weather, but it's, it's, it's great stuff. This is the company. They didn't give it to me. It's a Christmas gift from my sister. So that's what these are. And I've got the, these are the numbers. And then it's these plates here, box of plates. So they're emboss tag double with wires, a pack of 50. I'm gonna go through these like bilio, so I'm gonna have to get some more of these. Uh, my sister got them in the States, so I'll have to find somewhere over here so that I don't get taxed in the post a huge amount. But this is a fantastic present for any gardener uh, that you know of. Uh, I love it. I'm going to be using it for trees mostly, but then I'll do plants and stuff like that. Anyway, there you go. Java. Hello. Now, somebody sent you a present. Do you like any of these? Bear. Leave it. Is there any one of these that you like? Thinking very hard. I'm going to chew one of them. There we go. I thought the gnarly blue one would be your one. Yeah. That's the one you want. The gnarly blue one. <laughs> He's off. His present. Thank you so very much. It looks like Java likes the blue one. And you just want to say hello. Yeah. Clever pup. Nobody else really wants them. You were inspecting them. Bear was inspecting them. Uh, okay, that's your choice. <laughs> Son and mother having their two. Oh, now he's jealous. Now you've got you got the first choice, Java, and you got the blue one. Says I'm gonna get high up so I can chew my blue one all on my own. <laughs> Have you taken all of them, Inca? Have you stolen all of the bones? <laughs> there you go. Inca, you greedy guts. Stealing all the bones. Let Java have his. He wants to chew his. Isn't that right, Java? Yes. 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 No, you have that. Yes. That's your gnarly bone. Yes. He loves his gnarly bone. He says, thank you, thank you very, very much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. He wanted this. He said, thank you, thank you very much for his gnarly bone. You like your gnarly bone. Yeah. Oops. You're so good. You're such a good boy. Yes, you're gnarly bone. You're gnarly bone. <laughs> <laughs>